explosion. Last week, it was like the number two both times that I did a poll when I was like, hey, what should we play? And people would vote for Potion Explosion. Um, twice. It one second twice. Each is a little perky. Sorry. We have the door open because it's really warm in here. So, tonight, we did dinner with friends and then we were like, I want to play a game and I want to play Potion Explosion because it's fun and Steve hasn't played it yet. So, we're going to do that. So this is Potion Explosion! Ah. Also, our table is not totally cleared because we're going to have dessert tonight, sorry. But I raised this camera, so hopefully that should be better. But this is Potion Explosion. Um, when you first get the game, there's a whole bunch of punch boards that you have to punch Ooh. inside. Um, and one of the things that you punch out is this tray, actually. Um, do you want ice cream too? No, I'm good. And the tray is what you put all the marbles in, and you only have to build it once because it like fits in the box built. Though I was playing with it at um, Cloud Cap Games, they did like this Gen Con release party thing, and I was playing with it there, and they were packing it up. Um, some people that were last playing it were like, "We'll pack it up for you," and like they thought you had to take this apart, so they took it apart. Um, so once you take it apart, it doesn't stay back together as good as you would think. But there you go. So we're going to have this in the center of the play area because, like, this is the highlight of the game, this guy. Um, so is this the cat bed? It can be, yeah. I doubt she'll use it. But uh, then the camera is freaking out. Good job, camera. Let me turn that off. Let me turn off the crazy attempting to auto pull those. Stop. Uh, so if the game does come with spare marbles because you're probably going to lose them. I've already lost mine. I do not know how many marbles are in this game, but part of setup <laughs> is you put all the marbles as randomly as you can into this tray, and then when they overflow like that, just kind of kick them around. So there we go. Um, and then we have all these potions where you have to punch out these holes that are in the potion boards. That took forever. It makes glorious confetti. Um, but there's a ton of potions. Ton, ton, ton. And you actually don't play with all of them. You take out a subset. So um, I shall do that now. I don't know if you take out a different amount for different players. But there are very good instructions on how to build the amazing tray thing in the beginning, and then and then it goes into like how to play the game. So, for two players, we are going to have four skill tokens, which are these things. Um, and once these ribbon things, um, you can totally be seen eating on camera, um, are gone, the game, the last round of the game begins. Um, this just denotes who the first player was. It's one of those games where you want to make sure that everybody gets the same amount of turns. Also, please don't try to slurp because it can be picked up. <laughs> you can have dessert on camera, just don't... Just don't slurp. Don't slurp. You know you married a slurper. I did, and it drives me nuts. At least I haven't lost my marbles. You said earlier that you had. Oh, I guess I have. Yeah. Um, cool. So uh, these are uh, trigger in game, and I'll talk about that in but a moment. And then it looks like we take two random. No. So we're gonna take two of the eight kinds and take them out. And I think there's there's already like a stack that I have taken out someplace. Is it these ones? Yes. Those and that. 
Um, so every type of potion gives like a different power slash ability when you complete it. Um, and they have you take out two of those abilities. But the art is very pretty. It's very bright. So all the potions look different. This is like the finished side. And then um, on the other side, they actually tell you what color marbles are needed to complete the potion. Um, so yeah. So that's fun. So these ones are going to be out of the game. So you take two of the symbols out. The symbols on the artistic side, the symbols are right. Itchy. All right, you got to close the front door. The symbols are on that. Oh man, it's so bright. It's so bright. So the symbols are right there on the completed side. You can kind of see that one a little better. And then on the, like, this is what you have to build side, the symbols are in the same location, they're just slightly smaller. So to set up the game, you take out two of the types. Um, you can randomly decide, or you can just pick. For your first game, just randomly pick. Um, then you find the starter potions, which are the ones that have stars in the, like, uppish right section. And there's going to be six of them or eight of them, or something like that. Totally see food on camera again. There's nowhere there's not on camera. You moved the thing up. I didn't touch it. No, you but moved for this, the bowl. Okay, this is off camera. Yes. It's precariously hanging off the edge. We'll hold it. People apparently get really upset with the concept of, like, us eating while we're playing. Which is funny, because when we first were like, let's stream while we play games, the idea would be that we would be eating while we did it. It'd be like dinner in a game. Yeah. People were... There's a whole show, dinner in a movie. Yeah, Which but they, they cook the dinner. They don't actively make it. It's pretty... It does... It's very beautiful. It's fun. You guys will see... The gameplay is fun. There is a reason why I was like, I'm tired, but I still want to play with play this. Um, also, we should do a game day sometime, lovey. Do you have puppy cam hooked up? I do not have puppy cam cooked up. Um, it's going to be really dark. If you want to go turn on a light. Tora says that your food can be on camera. Thank you, Tora. I think I totally just sorted those and then just shuffled them in because I'm an idiot. Cool, so these are the starting ones and we are going to snake draft them, which for two players kind of whatever. And then the other ones just get shuffled together as much as we can. So before we snake draft, I will explain. We are not, I didn't know what Dragonflight is. We don't know of any of these local events. So we are not going. Uh, so these will be put into five equi, like whatever size things. Steve um, has decided puppy cam should be a thing, so we now have puppy cam on. That's our Ikea wardrobe that we are going to build tomorrow. Um, it's puppy cat cam, really, right now. Okay, so let's talk about how we play this game, shall we? So I'm going to do some camera magic. Actually, you guys watch Puppy Cam while I do camera magic. It's like, and now a word from our sponsors. Well, the problem is, is I can't, like, adjust the camera settings while viewing it because it, it's tough. So, yeah, I have to, like guess what I'm doing and after this puppy we'll be right back <laughs> all right so I tried I'm zooming into the board I'm sorry that it's jumping I don't know what this does oh it centers it undoes everything I want so we're gonna talk about the marbles 
and you can actually discern the colors pretty well. Look at that awesome zoom in job. All right, so this is the tray. So on your turn, Stephen, yes, you can do a whole bunch of things, but there is one thing that you must do. Eat pie. Mm, not on your turn. That's an optional action. Mm. The thing that you must do, sir, is you must take one marble from this tray and cause potentially explosions. So, when you take a marble from the tray, can you make that not vibrate? Um, when you take a marble from the tray, if it is the marble that is your turn marble, like the one that you are taking on your turn that can cause explosions, um, what will happen is, if you take the marble, this is going to be amazing, and I wish this was a turn. So I'm going to take this blue one right here. Mm -hmm. Taking this blue one is going to cause these red ones to touch. So they explode. So I get what? those red ones and the blue one. So I take the red ones out. Boom. Now these black ones have touched. So those explode, and then because it's still part of the chain of my reaction, I get those as well. So on and so forth. Um, so this is what I get this turn based off of those explosions. Um, obviously it could be more, so for example if I took out this blue one and these three yellows touch, I would get all three yellows. It's not just the two that touch, it's all of the contiguous like related colors. When you take marbles, you put them onto... I'm gonna have to slide this into frame. You are going to have two potions on your like workstation and you have a little beaker over here. So when you take the marbles, you put them onto your um, potions and these all fit, actually no, so I have this red one that is extra because I can't put it on any of these potions, so I can put it in my beaker. If you don't want to put something in your beaker or if you don't have any room for it, you must put it back in the um, tray. You cannot have any marbles in your hand at the end of the turn. So they can always go onto your beaker? Uh, if there's room. There's only a spot for three. Um, when you complete a marble, when you complete a potion, uh, as in all the slots are filled, you'll take all the marbles from it, put them in the tray as randomly as you possibly can. Um, then you take the potion and you flip it so that the pretty art side is there. At the end of the game, you'll get however many points is denoted. Um, so this one's worth four. And then you now have access to this special ability. And there are eight different special abilities. Um, and we're only playing with six of them because that's part of the rules of the game. But you'll put it on your tableau just off to the side. And then on your turn, as like a optional action, you can always drink any completed potions that you have, but you only get to use them once. So if I wanted, I could drink this. So I would rotate it on my tableau so it would be like this, because I've now used that ability. And then I would get to do what I wanted. You can always drink potions either before or after you cause your explosion. Okay? Um, you can drink the potion the turn you, you made it if you wanted. So there's that. The, um, yeah, you do not get to restock, um, the empty spot on your workstation until the very end of your turn. So if you have marbles in your hand and you have a spot, you can't like take a new one and then stock it up. You have to get rid of those marbles and then the very, very last thing you can do is put that on there. And you can only allocate marbles to your new potion on the next turn. Basically, as soon as you take the new one, your turn is immediately done and you can't do anything else. Okay? Got it. So, that is taking explosion marble and finishing potions. The other thing that you can do on your turn is you can ask the professor for help. So, if you want to, once per turn, you can ask the professor for help. So when you ask the professor for help, you just take one of these tokens. It says minus two points on it, so it's minus two points at the end of the game. But when you take one of these tokens, the professor will remove one of the marbles from the tray. You get to pick which one, and just put it in the top. So the professor, you could be like, oh, professor, help, and he could take out, I don't know, something that would cause an amazing combo once it was gone, and then put it in there, and then then you get to take your turn. Like. He could take out the yellow, and then he could remove the blue and get four blacks. Yes, that's a great example. So, um, But him removing the marble doesn't cause an explosion. Yes. Nothing 
none of the abilities, either the professor's help or potion abilities, will cause explosions. The only thing is that cause ex the only way to cause an explosion is to use your like explosion die thing. So yeah. Um. So there's that. So you can only cause explosions if it is your like one take a marble that causes explosions action. Okay. The only other rule is these things. So if you ever get three of a kind of these types of potions, you get one of these awards. Or if you get a unique, a set of each unique type, so, or five unique types. Um, so if I get one of these, one of these, one of these, one of these, and one of these, that's five unique potion types, I would also get one of these. Um, these are worth four points at the end of the game. And the last round, the end game is triggered as soon as all of these are gone. It's a different number for a different number of players. Um, but once these are gone, we will finish off the round that we are currently in. So everybody gets an equal number of turns. So if I go first and Steve triggers the end, I don't get another turn. I believe. I might have to double check on that Say one. Say what? Yeah. So any questions from Steve? Also from you guys. Any questions from you guys? Because there's a little bit of lag, so I can answer Steve's in time. Do you have any questions? Is there any way to get points other than losing points, getting points, and getting points from me? Nope. That's it. Cool. So you want to know about the abilities? Yeah. So they're all handed dandy on the back, mm -hmm. but they're pretty straightforward. So this one is you just get a free marble from the tray when you drink it, and you actually get to keep the marble. There's eight. Types. There is eight, but you always remove two God. from every game you play. So we're playing with this one so where you get a marble. Bunch back in the box. Yes. This one is you get all the ingredients from a player's beaker. Um, you pick one player and you steal all their ingredients. This one is really interesting. This one, you discard up to five ingredients of one color from the same track. Mm, so like so, all the yellows. Yeah, but only from one column. Uh -huh. Um, this one, you get to pick up two marbles that are not matching color from the same... They have to be adjacent in the same track. So, like... Yes. Nope. I know you just want to play. I but... just... Actually, I just want to pick up marbles. Um, and then this one, which is the rainbow binker. This one is... Um, you can place all the ingredients in your pool in any coals of your incomplete potions, regardless of colors. So this one lets you play anything from here into any slot you want on your thing. Boom. Yep. Um, the other one, we don't have it, which means I probably didn't find it in the stack. This one right here, where it's all the, it's like a couples, you get to take up to one ingredient of each color from the bottom row. So right now I would only get these three. I would only get black, yellow, and red. Mm -hmm. But if there was a blue, I could also pick up a blue. Right. Cool. Sweet. Well, I just answered Levi, uh, Levi's question, so that works out. Thank you, Lag. Thanks, um, Lag. The abilities that we are not playing with is Refresh, or Sands of Time, which allows you to activate a potion you've already used. And then we are also not playing with Balm of Uttermost Sickness, where you get to take two or more adjacent ingredients of the same color on the same track. Um, question. Yes. How did James win the other day? I don't... He just had the most points. Okay. I just was... You know, I thought maybe he had some kind of a strategy. But I guess just getting just the Just being points. really good at... I will tell you, I have never won this game. I am pretty bad at it. So are you as bad at this as I am at Ghost Blitz? Maybe, actually. I've played games of Ghost Blitz where I haven't even gotten on the board. I've gotten on the board, for okay. sure. But I am really bad at spotting combos. Okay. So we will see. Um, let me double check the end of round thing. Yeah, it's until the player to the right of the first player completes their turn. So all players will have the same number of turns. Yeah. Cool. Okay, you ready? I'm gonna. I want my. I want my brownie. 
Um, let me zoom the camera out again. And totally... It is a very special brownie. Boop, 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 boop. I mean, it's not a special brownie. But it's, you know what I mean. You know what? I think, I think we should just play with it kind of zoomed in. It's taller, which is nice for us should not bumping put, it. Should I put, like, this? Yeah. We'll do that. Okay, so first things first. Um, we are going to draft. So we're going to snake draft where... Um, I'll take one, Steve will take two, and then I'll take one of starting potions, and then we'll put the remaining pile out. So, um, which do I want? Well, seeing as I'm going to go first. Um... The example turn I gave was like the best I could get, really. Hmm. Um, I'm going to take this one, and then Steve, you get to take one. I'm actually going to zoom it out another bit. Why do? Why are these arrows backwards? To infuriate me. That's that's actually why. So you actually get two. Oh, because snake draft. Because snake draft. Snake. Snake draft. Are all the potions of the same type the same recipe? Nope. 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 Okay. Um. Briar's dice. My friend just sent me a picture of a bunch of dice on a table, so I'm guessing what game he's playing. Um. Oh. Hmm. I guess I'll take this one. Okay, so these get shuffled in with these. And then we now make five piles. Would it be possible to ripple shuffle those? Hmm? No. Shoop. Shoop. When one pile runs out, it really doesn't matter. I think there's just five, so you have five options. Also, I love how this potion has a little face on him. That's my favorite. All right. The marble box is actually pretty sturdy. Um, it was a lot more sturdy before the other day when the little girl at the game store thought you were supposed to take it apart between every game, and she took it apart. Um, so, yeah, it was, a little, it was a little bit more stable before then. Um, what does this camera look like? That's pretty good. That's, that's pretty good. Let's, let's do this. We can do this here. We can shift that down, and we can move that up. Here we go. That's good. Can... No, that's good. I think that's great. I think that's good. Okay. I'm really bad at this game, guys. <laughs> um, I had a plan, and then I totally. Um, I'm gonna take this blue one to get these three black. Ah, don't spoil it away. Yeah, you, you lose that one. Um, and that's my turn. Oh, hello, Ichi. I like that you can tell which dog is there. By how fluffy? By how fluffy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and also, we'll just do a quick puppy cam. Oh, no, puppy cam's not on puppy. She's, I don't know if you can see her. She's curled up on the couch. Um, yeah. She's curled up on the couch. Wow, our living room's a mess. Anyway. <laughs> oh. 
I'm gonna eat a brownie. Sue me. Actually, don't sue me. I can't afford it. Okay, so I can take this negative two points. Yes. To remove this, and it just. Ah! <laughs> this is gonna happen a lot. Yeah. And then it just. If it does that, I just have to. You have to, to like kick it so it goes. The only tray it can go in right now is that one. Or that one. Oh, yeah. Okay, so then I remove this. So you get all those blues. But I get this red one, right? Yeah. This is a vegan gluten free um, peanut butter toffee bar. So I get all five of these blues, but nothing else explodes. Correct. Nothing else exploded. Wow. Those are all yellow. <coughs> oh, the cat's like right on the other side of the box. Mm. How does this compare to the other sciency test tube game? Totally different mechanics. Mm -hmm. Like this one is like, I feel like Dr. Eureka is like, we're learning basic lab skills. And this one is like, he's actually letting us, because in Dr. Eureka, you don't eat the potions or drink them. Like you're just making them. And then this one, you actually are consuming them. So I feel like this is like Dr. Eureka's like freshman year. And then this is like, this is like junior, senior year. Um, on that delightful note, I need one red and two yellows. I don't. Um, I'm gonna take a minus two, and I'm gonna do that, and then I'm going to do, oh no, I want, okay, yes. So I'm gonna take this red for an explosion, and I get these two yellows, so I do that, and so I've successfully completed this potion, so we will do that. I take this one, I flip it, and now I have it there. Um, I could steal all of your blues from you right now if I wanted, but I don't really want to. So that'll be my turn, and then I draw to replace. So, I have the hiccups. Um, I'll take this What one. happens if I do one for an explosion and can't place it? Like all the marbles you get? Yeah. You put them back in. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that, that's basically what this is. Okay, so I'm going to take this blue. That, I Which didn't want those yellows. Just gives me these three yellows. And then nothing else exploded. Mm -hmm. But then I can't do anything with this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, here we go. This is fun. Oh, I just saw that one. So block. Two red. Yep. Two black. And if I had taken that blue with the professor token, I would have gotten two yellow. I should have done that. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. When do you get new potions? <coughs> when you finish. The one that you have. Okay, so I take this red. Can't do anything with it, but I get these two blacks. Yep. So now I put these Well, two hang on. You finish the, we'll do the blacks. And then you cause the yellow explosion. So you get right. the yellows. And then you get the blues. Okay, but so do these have to go away or do these finish and I draft more before I place these? Those go away before you can replace. So you can swap what you want into your beaker if you want to put something in your beaker instead of having all the blues. Nah. Okay. Okay, so so these are both done, mm -hmm. and then I will replace with this one, which is all the blues, yeah. and then this one, which is all the yellows. Um, so I have a question. Okay. When can I swap these into the potion? On your next turn. On my next turn. Okay.
Yeah, Harry Potter's potions class meets Candy Crush. Well, like, the kids have wands on the box art, so I think they were yeah. kind of going for that. Could be pencils. That's a wand. That's a pencil. That's a wand. There's an eraser. That's not an eraser. That's like a magic muzzle. <laughs> That's where the magic comes out of. You know, Steve's never read Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> magic muzzle is... He's, like, seen, like, half the movies. If, if that, like, a quarter of the movies. How many movies have you seen, Steve? Probably all of them in theaters at some point. And then not since. Yeah. Steve's not an expert on the wizarding world at all. Some of us are muggles. And others are uh, magic. Magickers. Magickers? <laughs> the term you're looking for is wizards. Also, I'm going to deny you the sweet, sweet no! coffee yellow. Oh. M. J. Did you say OMJ? G, but yeah. Cool. Um, so I complete um, these two. Sweet, sweet, sweet. That's like hidden by the camera. Um, do I want to use them now to be a deck? <laughs> no. Um, but I do. Hmm. I don't see any great combos. What is this one? I can use everything from my beaker as if they were anything? No, that's a rainbow one. That one you can steal from my beaker. Mm. But I have one of those too, so... And this one is... You discard everything of one color in one track. Or up to five marbles, mm. I think. Um, I guess... Uh, I guess I'll take this one. And it did not reveal what I wanted. Mm -hmm. Um, I guess I'll take that one. Cool. Your turn. <laughs> Steve falls asleep to a lot of movies. Okay, I'm going to use this to remove up to five of one color. I'm going to remove these three blues. I, I didn't realize that the reason Steve had seen so many movies in theaters is because if he watches them at home, he just falls asleep. Okay, this was somewhere. Okay, so I take this red, which causes these black to pile up. And then on my turn, because it's my turn, I can just... Um, and then I don't think anything else touched. But I wasn't paying attention. Uh, I'm not really sure which row you pulled from. That one, but it's fine. I'm not very good at memory. There's a lot to keep track of in this game. There's marbles over there and over here. Did you play Clank? I did not play Clank. Um, I have not heard much about Clank, but I do know that Vast is fun. We enjoyed playing Vast. We should invite Jonathan over who loves Vast and he will Gladly teach the internet how to play Vast. <laughs> well, would you say he'll use his Vast knowledge? I made that joke on the vlog, and if you watched my vlogs, you would know that. And then you wouldn't make it. <laughs> mm. You're just dragging me through the mud. 
Nope. I'm gonna take um uh dun 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 I'm going This is potion explosion, not inspector gadget. There was a lot of explosions in that show. That's true. I'm gonna take a help from Professor. I'm gonna discard this red. Then I'm gonna take this yellow. What? To explode these blacks. I will say these marbles are already starting to show. I don't know if like they came with marks that looks like I don't know. Anyway. These are not the most robust marbles. Didn't someone just buy everything on your list? Or yes. someone had the same list? Yeah. No, they literally bought everything on my list. Their list was my list. <laughs> they... This list is your list. Yeah. Yeah, somebody... There, I ran into a guy at the portal booth who was buying Tides of Madness. I mean, <clears throat> he had other things, but he had he took everything on my list. And added it to his list. So I met him at the... I saw him at the portal booth because he was buying Tides of Madness. And he, he was like, oh my god! I'm buying your list! And I was like, what? <laughs> uh, I think they're in vlog day one. Um, I am... Well, um, I don't want to steal from you because you got rid of all the blues that I wanted. But, um, I'm going to drink this to do this oh, in yellow this and I blue. And then I'm going to drink this other one to also do a yellow and blue. Oh, you get two of whatever you want. Did that cause? No, that doesn't cause an explosion. No, uh, no, you don't get two. They have to be adjacent and they can't mm. be the same color. That's right. So then I finished this guy. Which is great. Um, hmm, there's no reason to activate that. Cool, so now I replace. Um, 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 uh, I'm going to take this one. Now I'm done. Uh, I haven't played Sonar. I'm specifically not playing Sonar. But um, TTR sold out on day one. Um, uh, yeah, it's in my vlog one footage. Because I went by at like 5.30 and they had six copies left. And then I went by the next morning before the show opened and they were sold out of TTR. Yeah, so, right. yeah. Okay, so you this... have to, before you place them, like oh. watch what you're doing to see if there's any explosions. So this is blue. You don't get that blue one. No? Because it was up under. Because it was like this, when and there were two blue here, you don't get that one. Okay, so I only get the two. Yeah. You don't get magic. Exactly. <coughs> I guess that makes sense. <coughs> okay. Let me double check that. Because otherwise I'd get that blue and then a whole bunch of blacks and it would be kind of weird. Yeah. Hey, nutters. Yeah, BGG is awesome. Um, just all the gaming, it's in the same hotel. We have yeah. tickets that we need to give, we need to like, give someone. Yeah, that's true. And space in a hotel room. Um, obviously you have to pay for the tickets in the hotel room. 
but we won't charge you like more than the cost. <laughs> um, yeah. Yes. Uh, Netters, we explained how to play and played a couple turns, but not too much. Yeah, we've been house ruling it that it works that way. So there's nothing in the rules that say otherwise. So that's how I've been playing it. So are you done? Yep. Okay. Um. Ooh. Ah. <clears throat> so you couldn't get this black. Correct. That's how we have been playing it. It has to be fully out for you to be able to take it. But like, if, or... I would house rule that the ones that are half exposed you can get because you can, when you remove them, they'll come down by one, but... Well, but no, because like, when you... Let's just do Oh, this. you're saying that you can like, only get ones look. from an explosion that you could actually get. Yes. So this was like this. Right. So you physically need to be able to pick up everything that mm. in the explosion that you're getting at once. Because if I remove half of this explosion, then yes, I can get that one. Got it. But, but it, it, yeah. You need to be able to remove the whole. Okay. That That's how sense. we've house rolled it. So if I did remove this blue one, then yes, I could get that black one. Because you'd be able to pick them all up. Yes. But you can't get it if it's part of the explo- like, yeah, okay, I yes. guess. Yeah. That's how we've been playing. Um, that is legitimate. There's nothing that, like, is good. Um, the marble structure is pretty sturdy, Chad. It's standard, I mean, it's been played quite a bit. I added, it's very robust, like, this shape. Oops, I just ruined everything. Um, it's very robust in this direction. Like I was saying, I there was a girl at the shop that like thought you took it apart every round, so she literally took it apart. And it doesn't, it's not as like sturdy as it was before. Like when you pick it up, some stuff will like slot out. But it's really easy to glue or tape, so it doesn't do that. It itself is very sturdy. I mean, I wouldn't, like, throw the marbles on it, because it's just... But it's good. Yeah. I'd say it's... I don't know. It reminds me of the pyramid from Camel Cup. Mm -hmm. Camel Up. Yeah. Like, it's similar quality cardboard. It, like, slots together. It stays fine. It's just this one doesn't have any rubber bands. But... That will snap when it's in your box. Oh, God. I just don't know. I mean, I could take another thing to do another thing, but I don't want to do another thing, so... Uh... <clears throat> right. Well, I'm gonna do this because I need the black. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, I had black on my thing. I'm an idiot. This is what happens when you distract me, internet. Um. Yeah. You're welcome. Okay, I. I'm done. I'm going to take a minus two to remove this blue. Then I'm going to remove this yellow. And then I will take these four reds. And then I will take these two yellows. And then I will put these here and these here. And I will actually throw those back. So, my potions are both complete. <laughs> ah! Alright, yeah. Flip these both over, and now I draft yep. two more of the potions. Because it's my turn, can I move these over right away? Nope, it's not your turn. Your turn... Oh, my turn ends once the explosion. As soon as you start taking these, your turn is technically over. You cannot take any more actions again. Uh, I really need, need reds and one yellow. Um, actually, actually, I wish there was a reference card for the Abilities. powers. They're on the back. Gee, I wish there was this thing that existed. 
Um. Right. Okay. This game is taking too long because I just get AP about it. It's really a problem. Um. It's kind of like the potion fizzle. <clears throat> Got a very sleepy Ichi over here. I wonder why. Uh, I just don't even know. I really do love BGG, and we always talked about how we weren't going to do Jinkan and just do BGG in Essen, and then of course we were having to skip BGG. Check some sand. Uh, Take that one to get those. Even though I only need the one. Um, how to find out if your table is level? Um, oop, oop. Uh, and then, oh, that's convenient. I will drink this. And take all your rest. What? No! And you know what? You know what? I don't even want them all. There you go. Oh my god. You um, know, the bed in Xena's crate is pretty comfortable. For you, yeah. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take this blue. Using this eight, this potion of potion of wisdom. I'm gonna take this blue, and then I will. Did you? Oh, I did that wrong. Oh, I have a set of five unique ones. Ooh, I get a thingy. Um, and then I get to the picnic box. Yeah, I did that wrong. Okay, well, I'm gonna take this black. Anyway, put it there, and then I get just these five reds. Um, I think I'm going to take this rainbow, and then I will take this steely one. Steely Dan? Well, I just, it's the one where I steal from you. All right, you done? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to... Actually, let me see what I can do first. Take a blue, get some yellows. Ooh. If I activate that one, I'll get a whole bunch. <clears throat> hmm. Okay, I'm going to activate this one, so I just get one marble, and I'm going to take this red one. And then for my explosion, I'm going to take that blue one, and all these blacks. And then, um, I'm going to activate this one, which gives me one marble of every color from the bottom. And then I can do that, and that, and that, and that, and a black marble soul. Um, you do. And then I think that's a good turn. And I get that one. Um, and then I get a new one. Why is there not one that just has a bunch of black? Need that out. Okay. Uh, yes, your turn. I'm going to take, I'm going to use the Potion of Magnetical Attraction to take this blue and red. And then I will take this blue causes this explosion for these two yellows. 
so again, these are all done. And they get they get flipped. Oh, hang on. We have a we have a message from Puppy Cam. Just hang on one second. Can you see her? Can you I feel see like I need her? to like turn the lights off. I just need to figure out no, because then she disappears. I just that's the best as I can zoom. <laughs> Puppy Cam. She's just out. Completely passed out. Alright. Um, yeah, there's definitely a puppy there, trust us. We can kind of see her sleeping. Need to get her a glow in the dark collar. Oh, hey, stack these so you can see when you have. Oh, see, sweetie, this is the three of a kind. So you get a right, but you I get drink, an award. Right, oh, but I drank that one. Doesn't matter. You get an award. Yeah. Um, okay, you're drawing new ones? Mm -hmm. I need a bunch of red. I don't need black. I need red. Alright, I'm gonna take a thingy from the professor to remove this one. Then I'm going to remove this red one. Then this black one. Then these yellow ones. Wait, I needed red. Dang it! <laughs> I was all excited about such a great explosion. Foiled Chris's again. That's okay, because I can use this rainbow power that means that all these are whatever color I want. From there. So I do that. So I finish these two. And I mix up the marbles, and then I don't. And then this gives me another. That's a three of a kind, so I get one of those. And then it's your turn. Um, I am going to use one of these. And I have literally no marbles. To discard four blacks from this track. Um, okay, so then, again, I, I just, I always do it wrong. The game ends when all, there's one more token that I needs take to be this red. So and if somebody, these, these tokens get taken when somebody does either five unique types of potions, like a set of five, or three of a kind. So there's one left, so if Steve gets whatever type he's missing for five of a kind, which he will do as soon as he completes one of those. He could activate it. Or if I complete either one of these, I will activate it. The end of the game. Cool. You done? Yeah. Okay. Um, hmm. I have one more rainbow power and two steel stuff from you, but you don't have any good things. So, a single red, two blues and three blacks, or four yellows. Four yellows? Yellow. Three blues. Well, I could get the yellows, I just can't get the reds in one turn. But if I rainbow, it won't matter. Did you go first? I did. I've never relied this heavily on the professor before, but I'm going to do it. So I'm going to take one of these to get those, to get that. Oh, 
Oh my god! Wait, 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 wait. hold on, hold on. Can you, can you, can I remove a yellow which will cause an explosion? Yeah. I didn't know that. I didn't if you, know you remove could... any color, you remove one marble and yeah, it I thought causes cause they an were, explosion. I thought because they were the same color, it wouldn't trigger. Oh my god. No, that's the whole point of it's the same color it triggers. Right, but no, but I thought, like, I thought I, I couldn't remove, remove, like, I couldn't remove a yellow, like, that wouldn't cause an explosion. So if there's a long streak, you can just pull one out the middle and yeah. you'll get all the rest. Yeah. Is this a mulligan game? Are you not gonna blame that for your? I'm gonna. Totally well, look how many. I just completed both of those because I rainbowed. That's great. So do you get three of a time? Uh yes. So, so you I get, still get one more time. Mulligan. All right. So I get both of these. And then I get I have to pick things. I will pick that one and that one for no reason. <laughs> you can place all ingredients in your pool on any holes of your incomplete regardless of color. Cool. Okay. Ah! We've... I was... Uh, Okay, so I did read the rules right, and James taught it wrong. So we've been playing wrong. When you take help from the professor, you actually get the marble. You don't discard it, which is how I was playing at Gen Con, and then when James taught it the other day, he said it got discarded, but it doesn't. Okay, so when you take a little help from the professor, you actually get the marble. Oh, well, holy crap. But we've, we've, we have both been doing that wrong the whole game, so yes. Um... Also, I've been cheating. <laughs> so this is, um, hmm. So the rainbow one allows marbles in your pool to be any color. But the pool is this, not your hand. Oh, yeah, that's how I assumed it was. Yeah, when I was taught, or when we were playing, James thought that the the pool is your hand plus the beaker. So that's um, also wrong. Whoops. Um, I don't know why they, they call this the ingredient pool. They just should call it a beaker because it's a beaker. I don't. The retort, or it's a flask. Um, but yeah. Oh, but during your turn, you may fully move ingredients between your pool and your hand. Can only hold up to three ingredients at a time. Yeah. So I wouldn't have been able to do what I just did. Can I do it though? I would have been able to complete one of them because I did have three marbles. So I would have finished one of my potions. So I will say that I finished that one. So this one I did not finish, but I still triggered the end of the game because I only needed one more to get the set of three. So, yeah. Okay. Do you have a rainbow? No. Not yet. But I was going to complete one and use it. Can I complete one and then drink it to use the stuff from my pool to complete the other one? Yeah, I think so. Let me do a check. Yeah. But where help from the professor doesn't give you the thing. It not. It's supposed to... But the way that we We've have been, been playing, playing it. it does not. No. The ribbon says, uh, diligence, studentibus, horribles, achievius, rewardus pro, achieves rewarding students. Alright, well... It's weird. Ah, 
the top of this potion cup is a little brain. It's a little brain. And this one's a skull thing. I'm just gonna do this and end it. Okay, so I take one yellow. The I'll art on these, blue. like the finished side I'll art, is reds. just so pretty. It just is so good. So so sad. Did you finish one? I well, finished yeah. one. Oh. But the problem is, I, if I could use the take from the professor, I could just straight up get a yellow. Yeah. Push it. <laughs> so this is done. Yeah. But um, you completed a set of five, so you get a thingy. They're not limited. They just trigger oh, okay. in game. Yeah, these are not limited, so there's a certain pull out so that the game is ended at a certain time. But if somebody achieves a set, um, oh, just get another one. you just there's extras. Well, that was cool. All right, so now the potions that are incomplete on your thing are useless, so just put them back. And then count up the points from your completed potions. Ones that you have drunk uh, still count as points. And then uh, any bonuses you get and any professor, subtract any professor helps. So. Well, that cancels that. That cancels that. Oh, right. Oh, are there set? No, set scoring doesn't happen at the end. Set scoring is only for the bonuses. Sets of three and sets of all five. So it's only to get these. Yeah, which give you points. Right, but at the end of the game, it doesn't matter. Well, they give you points. No, but like I'm canceling them out. Yeah. Like I'm discarding these and a potion. Because I don't okay. care about sets anymore. Is no, it's just the yeah. red ones. Yeah. You can lose count. We're over an hour. I apologize, everyone. It's because of my AP. Though, I will say, this game, um, if you're not going for these sets to win these bonus points, this game can take a really long time. Because this is the end game trigger. So, if you... Um, the first two games that I played slash people played with my copy took forever because people were more interested in just making awesome explosions and completing potions as opposed to taking potions that would help them complete sets to get these. So that's like an interesting, yeah. 48. 66. Still love it all. So what'd you think? It's fun. Um, it seems like manipulating the powers to get the right chain you want is important because I wasn't getting really awesome explosions. Yes. Like um, they're not just going to happen serendipitously. You have to and taking, make them happen. Taking, that was the other thing is like the first game that we played, we really didn't, we shied away from taking help from the professor and the game took forever. Because the returns were like, I would take one marble and nothing would happen. So it really does, it does benefit you to take professor's help if you're gonna cause like a massive explosion. Also, I wish I realized the like, with these three yellows, I could like take one which would do that, because when I was seeing the streaks, I thought there was no way to get them. Oh no, you can totally, because it's, it, there's no rule against it. It's you right. take a marble, and if two, the two marbles that touch are of the same color, you get them. So right. you don't really, the rule doesn't care what the color is of the marble that you take. That would have made it a little easier to get streaks. Yeah. Cool, Ace. Um, How do you feel that it played two player? Quite okay. Um, I mean, hard to catch someone if they're just doing better than you, but it's just a game. I mean, that's the way with every game. Yeah. Um, having played, so Steve's only, this is his first time playing, and I do agree, it needs a second in condition. Um, or yeah, just a like different one entirely. Two potion stacks run out or whatever. Yeah. Um, but the... Um, it's interesting because at two player, I could see a lot of potential combos based on stuff, and 
I know for a fact that he's only going to affect one track. So, I mean, he could technically Professor's Letter and, like, do some stuff to other tracks, but it's likely that he's not going to. So in a two-player game, it was easier for me to kind of, like, deduct, deduce what he is going to do on his turn based off of his potions. So I could take one... Like, I wouldn't have to worry about rushing to take one. Whereas in... Um, I've played a four-player game and a... This is my second two-player game, and I've played a four-player game, and then I watched a three-player game. Um, the four-player game especially, like, you the, the board is different every time you play it. By the time it gets back to you, the likelihood that the combo that you saw and wanted, mm -hmm. it's, it's just gone. So it's probably a little more boring in terms of the downtime yeah. than three or four-player. Yeah. There's, there's a little bit longer downtime, and you don't really have a vested interest in paying attention to the board. Because, I mean, it makes your turn a little faster if you see what's happening as it happens, but there's that. Um, so, yeah. Um, I think the... Yeah, it's really... I should... When we played in day one, the day one vlog, we play... It takes a lot of time. We played over, like, an hour and a half. But we also, had, like, had people coming by to chat, and I was distracted... Um, because if you've ever played a game with me at a convention, especially like Gen Con or BGG or any place where I'm like recognized, like, yeah. Um, but this is fun. They managed to capture the mechanic of like Bejeweled or Candy Crush in a board game. Yeah. And it, all it took was Professor Gravity. Yeah. Well, Thanks. and it works really Sir well with the mechanic. I think the hardest part is making, not, not the mechanic, but making a game around the mechanic that yeah. is interesting. And I think they succeeded in that. Um, yeah. Yeah, no, this is this is great. Well, that's the other thing, is there was a turn where I totally took the turn that caused the biggest explosion, even though I like needed one of the marbles that I got. So it's a potential destructant, slash it's awesome. So there's that. Well, I think what's nice, because they're on tracks, I mean, it's silly and gimmicky, but like in a lot of other games, you would need to physically move stuff. Like, you would need to see the thing happen and then move stuff around. And this one, they just slide and do it automatically. Yeah. Um, it's good. And they provide bags in the game. Um, oh, are these spare marbles? Yes. They provide two of each uh, marble as a spare. Can you put the marbles in that? Mm -hmm. This is the bag that the marbles come in, but they also give you a Ziploc bag to use, so... Our ethical so. vow. The fairies harvested for the purely organic dandruff used in the 20 yolo marbles in this box were kept in the most species-appropriate fairy environment. Unicorn tears. Of the highest, of the highest commercial Sorry, available really grade loud. are the raw material from which the 20 blue marbles in this box are forged. Try it yourself. Collecting unicorn tears is very easy. They are always depressed. Find one, make fun of his horn, and prepare for the shower. Bring a huge barrel. Let's um. see. Uh, Dragon smoke from sustainable sources is delivered steaming hot to our marble plant, formed into one of the 20 red marbles in this box and left to cool down. Try it yourself. To obtain a dragon smoke, poke its nose until he gets really, really angry. Collect the smoke with a flask. Run before he incinerates you. Uh, let's see. Ogre mucus. Oh. I guess we were wondering what the black ones were. Our quality promise. Each one of the 20 black marbles in this box was skillfully distilled from 100% renewable sources of only the purest ogre mucus, which actually sources say is distilled from the unsold copies of Steve Jackson's uh, ogre reprint. That's not on the box. Uh, That's just my humor. Try it yourself. Swamp ogres often catch a cold. Go to a marsh. Bring a big box of paper tissue. Follow the sneezing. Not recommended for the faint of stomach. <laughs> they did a good job on this. They did a really good job on this. Yeah. Um, there are three designers. I cannot say any of their names. Uh, they're cool, many, and not. No. Those are the three designers. Uh, it's... Lorenzo, Lorenzo Silva, Andrea Crespin, and Stefano Castelli. The art, which is gorgeous, is Gil, oh god, Giulia Gingini? Giulia Gingini? He's better. 
at words than I am. Hang on! <laughs> Sorry, I don't want to cause a potion explosion. <laughs> so, yeah, there's even instructions in the box so that you put everything back in. But as you can see, um, it all goes really nicely. Mm -hmm. And these just kind of like hang out on top, which is a little weird. But there's that. Um, there's this like divot. I don't know what that's for. Um, it's... Oh, maybe... Maybe this is the wrong... Maybe we do... Uh, uh, ah! Uh, see, ever since uh, she took it apart, it just... You have to watch how you lift it. So I might just glue it. But it was... Why don't we just wait for the broken token trick? It was a lot more sturdy, and then she was very helpful in that she took it apart, and when she took it apart, it became considerably less sturdy. So, because when you first build it, it kind of like almost snaps in together, so, yeah. Was this your hypothesis? Yes, it was my hypothesis, and it seems to have been correct. So there you go. That is Potion Explosion, um, published by Simon, which if you've watched mm -hmm. vlog day two, which will be up tomorrow, you will know I can call it Simon. Simon? Yeah. Are the um, people that work there the sea monsters? <sighs> Thanks for watching, guys. Um, we are going... Woo! Faces cam! We are going to be playing... Um, Terraforming Mars <gasps> what? on Thursday's stream. What? So this is actually the first game that I acquired at Gen Con this year. Um, I acquired it on day zero. We're not going to talk about how. And um, yeah, this is a considerably longer game. The time on the box is 90 to 120 minutes. Um, so yeah, uh, it's probably going to take like three, three and a half hours with learning. And we're going to play this Thursday. And uh, I, I don't know if you guys are interested or not, but we're going to stream it. Um, it's going to start at 7.30 on Thursday, and our friend John is going to be there. So it's going to be a three-player game. So yeah, he's going he's gonna to be sitting there. Uh, um, you mean where Dargon is sitting? Where the cat was sitting. So there you go. So um, Terraforming Mars Thursday stream by Jacob. If you're late to the stream and you missed out, um, this will be live on the internet on Wednesday. Tomorrow, which is Tuesday? No, today's Tuesday. Tomorrow's Thursday. No. Yeah. No, tomorrow's Wednesday. No, we lost Wednesday. No, we didn't lose. In the potion explosion. So, um, I'm going to upload the vlog. So, uh, East Coast, or pff, East Coast, Pacific. Um, Pacific, Portland time, 7.30 Portland time, Terraforming Mars. It'll also be um, available online probably Friday. But there's going to be a Gen Con vlog day two available either later tonight or, um, sorry, there's a little fly, or tomorrow morning because um, it's rendered and it just needs to upload and process. So that might be dropping later tonight as well. Cool. Sweet. All right. Oh, hi, Mer. <laughs> okay. You ready? Yeah. Okay, let's play it. I mean, let's play it Thursday. Yeah, for it's too high. For people on we the internet, the front we'd be door. like, let's let's it's play this, and then if they click the next video, we would just start playing it. They don't have to wait for the intervening two days. Yes. It's very hot, though. So yeah. we're going to stop the stream and open the doors and windows now. So thank you for watching.